Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. Today I want to show you a power tip for styling Elementor CSS for tablet and mobile and not needing to use media queries. Every so often you need to write some custom CSS and it would be nice not to have to use a media query to style tablet and mobile. Elementor. Uh, sometimes you'll just find a reason to write custom CSS that needs to target tablet and mobile. Uh, one good example might be, say, like a section here. So I click on a section, this container. By default, the padding's not great. Basically, there's not enough breathing room above the headline. And I find myself manually setting the padding on desktop, tablet, mobile. But a site has many, many sections, right? <laughs> so you don't want to have to do that over and over. So that's a good reason to write some global CSS. Or if you're theming a little bit or you're making multiple sites, um, sometimes you just want to write global CSS. Now in Elementor, if we go to site settings and then layout and breakpoints, you'll see by default there's two breakpoints, mobile and tablet, and they're set to 768 and 1025. So if I write my media queries to target those, then the site will style, right? So I'll give you an example. If I take the HTML and I style for media breakpoints, it'll work. The problem is, what if somebody changes those breakpoints? So I'll, I'll pop in some code here we can look at. Whoops, wrong. Pasted a button. Okay, so this just is a little bit of CSS that basically says, hey, can you take the section and give it some more padding on desktop? So now there's more breathing room. And then I'm saying on tablet, can you make it 60 pixels? And on uh, phone, can you make it 30, right? So we can check that tablet. Phone, you can see the padding is, is changing, right? So that works, but if somebody went to the layout and changed the breakpoints, this won't work anymore. And media queries, they require a fair amount of code. They're a little bit of a hassle to write. I wanna show you this tip. So Elementor seems to append uh, like a data attribute or value onto the actual body tag when you're on that size. So watch this. If you do this instead, you basically say, hey, body, if the data elementary device mode is has a value of mobile, then do the following. So what you can do is you can style in the same fashion, but you don't have to use a media query. So if you change your breakpoint, it won't matter. Tablet. So I'll, almost there. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so now this should still do the same thing, but we're not reliant on media queries. So if I go change those breakpoints, this will still work. So you could use this on a number of things, right? So here I'm targeting the top section, but I could do something like target those icons. I'll just show you by way of example. So I could, uh, well, I don't want the padding on the icon, but I'll try to make the icon teal at tablet. So you normally couldn't just look, uh, I don't think change the color of an item just for one device size. But here, I think we could. So if I just say, hey, at tablet, make the color of my icon teal. Let's see if that works. So I'll go to tablet. Look at that. Now what's cool is if I go to mobile, it didn't do that, right? So if, if I wanted to set it at mobile, I could, you know, I could add a second line here and target the mobile, and it should apply. There you go. So you can do some interesting things. I think it's a little more dynamic. I don't know how long that will work. Maybe it'll just keep working. Um, and then I heard a rumor that Elementary was gonna add the ability to do custom breakpoints. So my hope would be if they do, that then you could do something like this, which would be my custom breakpoint. Whatever, you know, the name of whatever your custom breakpoint was would just go in there kind of like that. Anyway, that'll be useful for some people, especially if you're sort of theming a little bit. Uh, yeah, anyway, please consider subscribing if this was useful and have a good day.